This is the first of two lessons on simultaneous equations. In this first lesson we're going to look at graphical solutions where we find the solutions to two linear equations using the graphs and solving two linear equations algebraically. We'll start off with a graph. We can see here the line y equals 2x plus 1. You should recognise this has a gradient of 2 here, it's in the y equals mx plus c form, where the m is 2, meaning that for every 1 it goes across, goes up 2, across 1, up 2. The plus 1, well that's the y-intercept, that's where it crosses the y-axis, or intercepts the y-axis. That's where x equals 0, and you can see there that if x is 0, we get 0 for this term here, and y is 1. The other graph we'll look at is y equals minus x plus 7, with a gradient of minus 1, going down 1 for each 1 we go across. That's the m, minus 1x, and going through the y-axis at 7. There's only one point here where the two graphs meet, where both the x and the y ordinates are equal. And that's the point 2, 5. And it's actually very easy to see that from the graph. We can try these values in the equations. If we put 2 in for x here, we get minus 2 plus 7, which gives us y as 5. So that works. And if we put x as 2 in here, we get 2, 5. We get 5 for y. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1, 5. This next graph is a bit more difficult. We've got the graphs y equals a fifth x plus 4 and y equals a third x plus 3. And we can see here that it's very difficult to see exactly where they meet, where they intersect. There's only one point again, but it's tricky to find. We can have a guess, we can approximate, but getting it accurate would be very difficult just from reading the graph. So it'd be hard to draw, they're not easy graphs to draw, are they? It goes, this one's got a gradient of a fifth, which means it will go up one for every five goes across. This one a gradient of a third, so it goes up one for every three it goes across. Very difficult to get accurate results. You'd have to draw exceptionally accurately on graph paper. It's much easier to solve equations like this algebraically. So when we have y equals mx plus c graphs, it's almost always easier to solve algebraically. And this method is the easiest. We have y equals 2x plus 1 minus x plus 7. Because they're both equal to y, we can simply equate the right-hand sides. So 2x plus 1 must equal minus x plus 7 where they meet. If we rearrange this, well, we've got minus x here. So if we add x to both sides, that will get rid of the x on the right-hand side. It gives us 3x on the left-hand side. We then get rid of this plus 1 here, so we've got an x term by itself on the left. By subtracting 1, we get 3x equals 6, x equals 2, and then sub that into either equation gives us 5. OK, here's one for you to have a go at. Pause the presentation, have a go. And if you're successful, move on. If not, have a little look back at the previous example and make sure you understand it. OK, same approach then. Equate the right-hand side, so we get 3x minus 1 equals 2x plus 3. Rearrange, well, here we need to get rid of this 2x, so we subtract 2x from both sides, leaving x minus 1 on the left and 3 on the right. Get rid of the minus 1 by adding 1 to both sides, and we get x equals 4. If we then sub the x equals 4 in, put it in the first equation, we get 3 times 4 minus 1, which is 11.
so we end up with the point 411. Unfortunately, not all equations are in that form. If we've got equations in the form ax plus by equals c, like these, so on this example, a is 3, b is 4, and c is 26, and here we've got a as 7, b as minus 1, and c as 9. We can solve these simultaneously using the methods that we used at GCSE. We need to make the coefficient of x or y the same size. In other words, the number of x or the number of y needs to be the same. It doesn't matter if it's minus and plus, it's the number in front of the x or the y. If we multiply the second one by 4, so if we multiply this one by 4, we now have the same number of y. One's plus and one's minus, but that doesn't matter because if we add the two together, then the y's will disappear. We will we'll, we'll cancel each other out. Minus 4y plus 4y is 0, isn't it? So we add the two equations together, we get 31x, we get 0 from the y's equal to 62. If we then divide 62 by 31, we find out x is 2, and we can then put the x value into either of the equations. We'll use this one, and it gives us y equals 5, so we get 2, 5 as our solution. Another method, if we have a mixture, so if we have something like y equals 2x plus 1 and 3x plus 2y equals 9, is to make a substitution for this y. So if we just put 2x plus 1 in, instead of our y here, then we can solve, because we'll have everything in terms of x. So we use y equals 2x plus 1, put that in instead of y, the 2x plus 1, because it's equal to y. So we've exchanged that y for 2x plus 1. Multiply out the bracket, gather our x terms, subtract 2, and we get x as 1. OK. Find out y by putting into either equation, but this one looks the easiest, doesn't it? And we get y as 3. Substitute. And finally, have a go at these questions here. The answers to those last questions. So if you were successful with these questions, then well done. Otherwise, have a little look back through and make sure that you know how to do these before the lesson.